No thinking. That's my secret. Can you keep back my secret? No thinking. That's my secret. Can you keep it my secret? No things I shouldn't know. Truth be told, and I just can't hold it in. No things I shouldn't know, shouldn't know. Things that I shouldn't know. No things I shouldn't know. When I wanna the world, that fever, fever, now she's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Mad, disgusting, and bold and bound. Taking money flow, follow them, you'll be slow. That's how it goes. Some like candles, engulfing hammers, morning stars, and no G's. You gotta follow the money, the seeds, the armonies. Follow the dead, follow me. My secret, no thinking. Tread just like a robot. No thinking. That shall be in there. No blocking. I can see your cards. Following the pencils, I'll make your secret. You had to separate from the tray. Plan your strategy based on probability. That is the game. Don't go guessing, learn refreshing. I can show you the way. You gotta follow the money, the suits, the armonies. Follow the tip, follow me. My secret, no thinking. Tread just like a robot, no thinking. That job being no loving. I can see your cards. Good evening, everybody. Can everybody hear me okay? Check and doing a mic check. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we originally had this uh, presentation scheduled for 9 o'clock. Didn't realize that I would be competing with uh, Mr. President Trump. So we changed it to 8 o'clock, and I promise I'm going to get you out of here so that uh, you guys can can listen to the state of the union so it's big yeah i don't want to miss it either so it shouldn't take too long um but i will stay here if you have questions at the end so uh guys thanks for coming tonight did you guys have a good trading day today did you guys see the spy today what an insane move how many of you knew this was going to happen today well if you have my app you know it was going to happen. We spotted uh, the first late dark pool cell prints in quite a while, about 7 million. And I started tweeting yesterday, 10 o'clock in the morning, two late dark pool cell prints right here is from my app. Oh, and by the way, you can increase the, the screen by clicking on the four inverted right angles up top. Mm -hmm. That'll fit the screen. Right, and it maintains the chat, so you can make it bigger if you uh, have issues seeing this. But right here, this was the key yesterday. This is if you were in my trading room, I put on some spy puts. I bought the 283 uh, puts 
Uh, there's a reason for that. Um, but this was it, you guys. Two late dark pool sell prints. 503,000 shares each. That's the dark pool signature at 286.64. The SPY was not trading at 286.64 yesterday. It was from the day before. This is the dark pool signature. Then we got more late dark pool sell prints. Uh, in fact, we had about 7 million. In fact, this is uh, everything that I tweet out all day on the app. If you're in my trading room, you also get it uh, in the announcement tab. Always post that up for everybody. So uh, today we were watching that uh, 283.26 level. That was a 20, I'm sorry, 35 million level. Uh, that was done uh, back here on Monday um, and Wednesday. Um, I'm sorry, on the, uh, I'm sorry, on the 23rd and the 24th, the dark pool did 35 million. So today, we broke below this massive, massive level. And uh, the only thing from stopping us to get down to that 280 level, let me just show you what we were watching today. All right, this is a live presentation. This is stuff that happened today. Uh, was this pivot, this S3 level. And this is why I covered my short uh, going in today because that's usually an oversold area in the short term. Uh, however, we'll see where we go tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that was a really great trade just using the dark pool. You know, everybody's been wanting to know when are we going to have a correction? That is, you know, I've called the last 10 corrections on social media before they've happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have not gotten heavy dark pool activity like this in, I don't know, a year and a half. Very, very long time. See these black lines right here on my screen? These are where the dark pool was trading uh, back in these days. You know, only if we break down below this last black line, look out below. We're going to go down pretty big. So they play print pong. So if you have the app, this is what we'll be watching uh, for a move, uh, possibly down to the 280 and a bounce and then to the next dark pool level and a bounce. And then this is pretty much what they do. They ping pong back and forth. And we're also going to get more dark pool prints every single day, which I'll be posting up uh, in real time. So I'm uh, really excited. Um, at least we got some action and, and great volatility. So I'm gonna begin tonight's presentation. Just really waiting for uh, some last minute people to come in. So thank you so much for coming out tonight. I haven't done one of these in, uh, in quite a while. I've been really busy on tour. Um, but this is gonna be how to profit off a dark pool. I know that uh, not too many people are going to tell you that the market is rigged, right? Not too many people start out their presentations like that. However, today, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to be the judge. I, Stephanie Counterman, aka the Stock Whisperer, will provide evidence for you, okay? Evidence of manipulating trades that are executed in the darkest pools. I'm going to shed light on just some of these illicit trades, I can't show you everything tonight and I'm gonna try to get done before President Trump, okay? But 40% of the total volume being executed right now across the entire market is being done in the dark pool. So I don't have time to expose them all, but I promise I'm gonna show you some really good stuff today. Uh, are there any lawyers here? Any lawyers? There's usually one or two. Just in case somebody shows up, all right, I have to warn you, the market is manipulated, okay? But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to profit off this manipulation. This is my risk dis disclaimer. Look it over carefully. Tonight's education is solely for educational purposes. I want you to paper trade until you have mastered trading, then start small and work your way up. I personally paper traded for two years back in the early 90s before I started trading. Anybody here paper trade for two years before they started trading, before doing their first trade? No, I've, I've yet to meet anybody. <laughs> 
You know, yeah, paper trade until you learn this is a career. This is not a hobby. And you don't have to do it for two years, okay? I, I knew absolutely nothing when I started. I was very, very young. And I'm glad that I took two years to learn. So I'm not a broker. I don't run a hedge fund. I'm a trader, just like you guys. I trade all day long. I don't work for Fidelity. I don't work for Charles Schwab. I don't work for Trade Station, Think or Swim, Scott Trade, um, Lightspeed. Nope, I don't work for any of these guys. So I don't have to answer to any of these fine institutions. I can pretty much say what I want and get away with it. I learned that the market is manipulated by the dark pool. And I learned it a long time ago in 1994. I got a job as an assistant. I was just an assistant to one of the best traders at Schoenfeld Securities. Schoenfeld was the biggest prop firm in New York, and that's the actual building that I started out with in Jericho, Long Island. And again, I knew nothing about the market, but I sat in the million dollar room. And let me tell you that there's a lot of people out there that would have paid money to sit where I sat. And there I was, honestly, I was being paid. And these amazing traders were teaching me how to trade. I mean, does it get any better than that? It actually does get a little bit better than that. They sat me in front of this machine called an Instanet machine. Anybody here ever see an Instanet machine? It's a green glowing dark pool execution machine. It was the mega trading computer in the 90s. This is where you could see where all the big guys were loaded to buy and sell. Only the very large firms had access to this. And there I was, 24 years old, okay, sitting in front of this internet machine. Now, the best part about this machine was I got to see where these big guys were loaded to buy and sell. So if any of the traders called out that they wanted to buy Microsoft or sell Intel, I was able to punch it up and say, no, 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 you don't want to buy Microsoft. There's a huge seller on the offer. Or you don't want to buy Intel. Um, you know, there's a huge seller. You don't want to sell. There's a huge buyer. And I saved my traders a lot of money because I was able to see into the dark pools of liquidity. Now I tried to find some pictures of what this machine looked like because not too many people ever heard of it or have ever seen what it looks like. So I Googled images of Instanet machine and this is what popped up. There's a picture of me, there's a picture of my screen. There's another picture of myself. <laughs> I couldn't, I freaked out when I saw this actually. I called my girlfriend, Lori in California. I'm like, Lori, you gotta do something because I don't know why I'm popping up on your internet machine. Just Google internet machine. Maybe my computer knows me. And she didn't, she goes, no, I, I see you stuff, you're, you're there. So I've been doing so many webinars on the dark pool. I'm, I'm definitely considered one of the experts on the dark pool after watching uh, trading in and around it for over two decades. And my webinars are getting really popular. Uh, so popular, I've been traveling around the country and across Canada, teaching as many traders as I can. I was on three tours with uh, Mr. Larry Berman. He's on uh, BNN every Monday. Uh, he's got a show called Berman's Call. So I did three tours across Canada. I've been touring with the World Money Show, the Traders Expo. I know I've met so many of you here tonight from these shows. So I am. this is why I do what I do, uh, to really get the word out. Uh, but even when I'm on tour, I'll be in Orlando, by the way, next week. I know many of you are going to be in Orlando. So... Even when I'm on tour, you guys, again, I'm a trader just like you. I'm obsessed. I live, eat, and breathe the market. And I run an online educational live trading or my trade live every day. I share my entries, my exits, but I teach you, you know, why. Why am I getting into this? Why am I getting out? I share my screen all day and I teach my traders how to follow the smart money by reading the tape and following the dark Pool. And I'm sure some of you are wondering, what the heck is this dark pool? It definitely, it definitely sounds ominous. Yeah, people think you, you can't see it. 
There's a lot of sharks swimming in it. Uh, yeah, what it is really, it's been around forever. It's an alternative exchange that allows traders to buy and sell large orders without running the risk that we're going to see their hand. So these trades are not completed until they're not revealed. I'm sorry, they're not revealed to us until after they're completed. So if Goldman Sachs has 20 million shares of the SPY that he wants to sell, right? We're not going to see one share until the entire order is filled. That's how they get done at the high without moving it down. And that's how they get done at the low without moving it up. Goldman Sachs has uh, a very popular dark pool called the um, Sigma X and Barclays has one that's called the Liquidity Cross. Now, the reason that these guys love the dark pool, besides having three hours at least to show their trade, is they have lower commissions, they get better fills. Um, you know, what do those trades look like? Those trades that are three hours late. I'm going to show you a picture of the spy. This is the one when you Google incident machine pops up. It's been a very popular slide. So here's a time and sales window. And every buy and sell is printed and recorded. Every executed trade is printed and recorded right there in your time and sales. You have to add uh, two zeros to mine. The price and share size is right here. So that this huge trade for 5,011 is really 501,000 shares. And that's the dark pool signature. They're either 501, it starts with 502 or 503. It's just their signature share size and that's how we always know it's a dark pull but take a look at the price of this trade a hundred and eighty two dollars and seventy cents now at 12 22 p.m the spy was not trading at 182.70 it was trading at 180.41 yeah 180.41 two dollars higher what is this print well coincidentally the high of the day is 182.70. This trade was done three hours prior and was not reported. And then the SPY collapsed from 182.70 all the way down to 180.40. We started to see these prints and this was not the only one. We had many, many, many of them uh, all day long. Now there are five types of dark pool prints. We get real-time prints, and I'm gonna show you an, an example of that that we trade off of all day long. We get late buy prints where they bought three hours earlier or sometimes 24 hours earlier. We get late sell prints that are three hours or, or more. Uh, and then we get the market on close prints. Those are the big trades at the end of the day that um, a lot of people look at and for me it, it, it shows no bias it's the prints that are right in the middle of the day while I'm trying to eat my lunch that are the like the most um, biased trades because they don't think anybody's watching in the middle of the day at the end of the day it's just institutions that can't hold overnight and they're closing out their positions so normally I only teach these four different kinds of dark pool prints. But tonight, I'm gonna share with you one other kind, and it's uh, it's pretty scary. Uh, it's called the darkest secret signal trades. And, and this is nobody, nobody knows about these trades because they don't appear on most software. In fact, many software out there get them, but then they eliminate them before they get a chance to hit the tape because they're so far away from the market. But for those of you that are in my trading room, we know about these dark secret signal trades. In fact, we've traded just recently uh, Apple and Intel off of them. And wow, I'm gonna show you those trades in just a little bit, but the first thing I'm gonna show you is the real time prints because we get so many of these during the day and how we go about trading them. I know many of you have the app and many of you here tonight do not have my apps. Many of you are in my trading room. Many of you are not in my trading room. So I'm gonna show you what goes on uh, when we get these big prints. 
and if you're in my trading room, what goes on, and if you have the app, what goes on, okay? So here's one example, uh, July 27th. We spotted, and when I, when I say print, it's a, it's a trade. It's a trade that's executed, and we look for the big prints. Though That's what moves the market, not the news, uh, not anything else. It's these dark pool prints. So on July 27th, we spotted the biggest print on Facebook that we have ever seen. And this was right after Facebook came out with earnings. Facebook was trading up $8.44 after the earnings. Now, I don't ever try to peg the top. How many of you have ever tried to peg the top? Anybody? Anybody going to admit to that, pegging the top? See, of course, Lil does. Come on, who doesn't want to peg the top? Now, I only peg the top if I have a huge, giant sell print. Okay, I want to know that Mark Zuckerberg is personally selling his stock before I try to peg the top on Facebook. And I don't want to risk a lot of money doing it either. So I eat lunch at my desk every single day, okay, because that's when the big guys show us their big trades. They know everybody left, and that's when these monster prints come in. Huge trades. So there I was uh, eating my Mexican quinoa bowl. I took my first spoonful and Bam, there it was. I almost tossed my quinoa like all over the keyboard. It was big, it was beautiful. 3.6 million print on Facebook. And it appeared on my block trade scanner uh, for over 500,000 shares. And no, it was not Chipotle. <laughs> that was bad today, right? My goodness. Good short off the news, but no, no, no. This was a homemade. <laughs> Quinoa, uh, quinoa, avocado, corn, my favorite. Uh, so here was this big print right in the middle of my lunch. I'm gonna um, show you that it appeared on two scanners. I have a scanner that's just set for the SPY, the Russell, the Qs, the VIX, and the FANG stocks, Facebook, Apple, Netflix, Google. So it actually appeared on both, you couldn't miss this. All right, I'm gonna enlarge it for you. There we go, just in case you, you can't see it. So $174.60 was this print. So whenever I see uh, a big print on this, I immediately tweet it out on the app, and I wrote, uh, massive Facebook print, is that you, Zuckerberg? $3.6,174.60. So here's where the levels kick in. There's specific levels that computers love to trade off of. The $5 increments are the strongest. So if Facebook could break above 175, that's that next big level up, I'm going to assume smart money is buying. If it goes below 174, that's the next level that computers are buying. If it breaks below that, I'm going to assume smart money is selling. And this is like really how easy this is because, again, I don't know for sure if it's buying or selling. Okay, but I'm going to use these levels, and these are the levels that I'm always calling out in my room and on the app. Now, wait, we saw another massive 3.6 million print on Facebook. And when I saw another huge exact same amount, usually there's a price revision. So let me show you. This is my Live Vol Pro software. And on July 27th, I scanned all trades that were over 500,000 shares, and this is what popped up. You see that canceled stock. So one the 174, well 60 roundup print was canceled, and instead it was revised to 174.28. But you know what? I'm still gonna use those same levels. If it's smart money buying, we gotta break above 175. Smart money selling, we're gonna break below 174. So if you're in my room, you you got to watch me trade this. In fact, many of the traders traded alongside with me okay so why would um okay so ray is saying why would anyone pay eight dollars more per share of stock than it was regularly well it had earnings ray so it was up eight i've seen netflix personally go from up eight to up 20 the next day up 12. yeah i mean again i'm not going to you know what happens when you assume it's selling 
right? So again, I use levels to keep myself and my ego out of the trade. All right, so I'm gonna take you inside my room, uh, the Java Pit. My traders come from all over the world, and this is from the general chat transcript from that day on July 27th. And I wasn't even the one that noticed it at first. Kiki, Keith, and he's from Toronto, at 11.35 Eastern Standard Time, called out the print, the 3.6 million at 174.60. And uh, Amit said it was Mark Zuckerberg selling, laughing. And, um, and then um, Ron, a.k.a. Wall Street Wiz, was the one that called out number two, and that's when I looked up on the live Volpro to see if it was two different trades or it was a revised trade. That's really important because that would be really uh, that much bigger, right? So I've trained my traders to call out these unusual prints, which is amazing. And uh, here's what happened next. Facebook went below 174, and at 11.50, I posted up in the room that I bought cheap lotto puts. This was a Thursday. Uh, going into Friday, this is my favorite, favorite time to buy options when I know a big move is going to happen. So I bought uh, cheap puts on Facebook that expired the next day, uh, far out of the money, 172.50s and 170s, okay? Really, really cheap. Um, and then I bought really uh, far out of the money puts. The one, oh, actually, Ron bought uh, really far out of the puts. Yeah, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Uh, Ricky liked it. She's our options whisperer in the room. She liked the trade. And, uh, and Ron bought even cheaper. lot. Now, a lottery ticket trade is something that is either going to go to zero or you're going to make a lot of money on. You're not going to bet the house. It's a lottery ticket. And we only, okay, we only do these trades when we have massive, unusual prints. So there is a lot of big prints throughout the day. But, you know, I've been watching the tape for 24 years now and so I know when something is unusual and that's what I'm calling out uh, all day long so do I confirm the dark pull prints with SEC filings no way Alexis I I really don't care about that I'm only I'm a trader and I'm just gonna trade off of them and teach as many people has as I can to trade to trade on them I confirm to see um, in live all pro to see if they show up. I'm gonna show you a couple of trades in a little bit, so just be patient and if you could wait till the end because I may answer some questions. Okay, so um, just gonna go to, not all my traders do options. Uh, Leslie, she's from British Columbia and she shorted Facebook at 173.40 uh, in the pit. And I, I said it's a dump during lunch. These are monies. That's what I call these guys. Throw big prints at us every day at lunch because they don't think anybody's watching. And we call them DDLs. Dump during lunch trades. And, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not think it was going to happen this fast. Check this out. Here's the 15-minute chart from that day. And that's when we spotted the print. And I always draw a line in my chart. Where the print is, I draw a line in the next... Uh, major level up and we're bullish above and then I draw a line at the next major level down and we're bearish below and you can see that Facebook went from 174 down to 168 in just two hours this is one this is an amazing trade Blanca uh, got out of her put she made 81 percent ROI in just an hour I get out of half of my 172.50 puts. Uh, whenever I'm up 100% ROI, um, I get out of them. I get out of another uh, fifth of my 172.50 puts, making 200% ROI. I get out of an, and I'm always scaling out um, and 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 putting my trades down in the chat. If you're in the room, I think it's really important for everybody to learn how to scale out properly, when to scale out, and so forth. And you know, everybody cheers each other on. We're all here for the same reason, to help each other. Uh, we have become like a family in there. Um, I got out of another quarter, my one seventy, a dollar 19, you guys. Um, I believe this, this trade cost me 15 cents to put on. Uh, David T made 400% ROI 
on his puts. And then Leslie at the end of the day made $2.32 cents on hers and these are just some we had a lot more just don't want to take all night uh, showing you everything but at the same time that um, I was trading in the Java pit I actually I was running a live class called boot camp uh, the same time this trade happened we take a break at lunch from 11 to 2 o'clock and um, and that's of course when the print happened so I most of the traders left the boot camp. So this is the chat from my boot camp class. Um, but I did post that I bought uh, puts on the massive print. And Dave B, uh, rock star, I wonder if he's here tonight. He he bought uh, the 170s alongside with me, paper trading. He was learning how to trade. I told him I bought him for 15 cents. Uh, he made 421% ROI, and again, on paper, but he was learning, and this was such a great lesson for him, and it was really just the, the two of us uh, that were left there, and of course, I told him I was eating my, my quinoa bowl there. So this is just one example. We have so many of these all day long, uh, but now I want to show you trades that really nobody else sees. It's kind of like insider trading. How many of you get stock tips? Anybody here get stock tips? Nobody's going to admit to that. I don't get tips. I don't get phone calls. Um, I don't pay for special research. I know some people do. But I don't need any of that because I just follow these guys that do. So now we're going to talk about the darkest secret signal trades that really not too many people see. Okay, They don't appear on most software, like I said before. In fact, many of them eliminate them okay so anthony when do we execute a trade based on your levels it depends if you're day trading anthony or swing trading so if you want to learn my trading room i'm going to tell you a little bit about that at the end that's the best place to learn is to actually watch me do it live don't you think yeah I, that's how i learned how to trade i sat next to really good traders and just watched them and so that's that's really the key so let me just show you an example on December 22nd, just last month, okay, last month on December 22nd at 3 p.m., we spotted these dark, bizarre, faraway prints on Apple. And we spotted four of them. Take a look right here on my block trade indicator. $169.40. And 48 cents and there were one four of them all the share sizes were the same two hundred and ninety four thousand one hundred and fifty two shares a hundred and sixty nine forty eight now look right here on Apple it was trading at the time at a hundred and seventy five dollars and twelve cents five dollars away December 22nd this is crazy how is this possible so of course I tweeted out on my app bizarre far away dark pull prints on Apple 169.48 four of them 294 each key level to watch if we move lower now we've seen this before so everybody in my trading room knew how to trade this, okay? But um, let me just show you a chart of Apple. Okay, so this is the daily chart of Apple from that day. You can see that the, the high was 175.42, the low was 174.50, that's the high, low, open, close. The open, it opened at 174.68 and it closed at 175 in fact it hadn't been trading at that 169 level since december 11th so this either got stuck in a lot of traffic or it was a dark secret signal trade now i'm going to show you my live old pro software because i always check and see did it appear here on december 22nd um, I scanned all the trades above 50,000 shares, so it should appear. And this is what popped up. And you can see none of these trades were at 169. 
Okay, so there was my tweet that day. So I'm going to take you inside my room just to run you through exactly how this played out. So at um, 3 o'clock, at the end of my meeting, I do a meeting every day from 2 to 3. And at the end, Ron, a.k.a. Wall Street Wiz, said, Steph, did you talk about those strange Apple prints? $169.48 for them. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't notice them until he called it out. So thank you, Ron. Uh, and Chris, Chris S. looked it up, and he said they're not on light speed. Peggy counted them for me, which was really sweet of her, four of them. And Ricky, uh, who teaches options in my room, said, so it's time to buy puts on Apple. And uh, I pretty much answered her by buying lotto puts on Apple. Far away, you guys, $5 out of the money, okay? But the one, so it's a three-day weekend. So I bought the, the next week's, the 170s, uh, 1229 expiration, just in case they bring it down to that print. And um, Cody, a.k.a. Sharkman, agreed, and it's a brilliant idea. So I'm going to take you to the next trading day on December 26th. 6.38 a.m. I get in really early, 6.30 every morning, so it's been a really long day for me. Um, Apple down big this morning after those far away dark pool prints we spotted on Friday. And guess what happened? News, Chinese firm sues Apple for copyright infringement. I don't trade off the news because the news is always late. The prints always come first and the tape never lies. And so I wrote them in those crazy lottos, I call them, 170 and 167. Uh, 50 puts. So, you know, look, politicians can lie. We have fake news, but the tape never lies. Now, my friend Jaffe, up, uh, he used to live in uh, Toronto. He moved to, um, where did he move to? Thailand. Thailand, actually, with his wife. Um, he's amazing. He also has a, a block trade indicator that has dark pull data feed, uh, datatraderpro.com. And we became instant friends when I realized that he's just as obsessed with the dark pool that I am. And this is what he wrote. My system got messages because I asked him, did you see these prints? Jaffe, did you see them? And so he told me my system got messages, corrected them. Corrected them, okay? The prints appear. They vanish, he said. Then the stock drops down to there. So the shark man was in the 170s. Uh, Lorraine in my room, Lorraine B, Colorado, she sold her Apple puts for $1.29. She thanked me for the call out. And I'm going to answer your questions when I'm done because I want to make sure that I finish before Trump starts, okay? So I promise I'll answer them if you hang around. Okay, so I got out of half of my 170 puts, $1.40, you guys. I paid 19 cents for these on Friday. Crazy. Um, a lot of my traders did well. Lorraine wished she had bought more. Um, I got out of another quarter of my puts at $1.60. Uh, Shark Man, everybody's got nicknames in my room, by the way, if you haven't noticed. Shark Man made 742% ROI. All right, crazy. Just because we were able to see those dark pull secret signal trades. Then, um, and again, it's free, by the way. I'm not, I'm not here to sell you any software tonight. It's completely free, I'll tell you afterwards, okay? Because um, a lot of people try to sell that. I'm not here to sell you that. So here is what I tweeted uh, on the app. News on Apple being sued this morning. However, we spotted those dark pool secret signal trades on Friday. Prints always come first. And I got out of another three quarters of my puts. Uh, yeah, it was good. Got out of my last quarter uh, when it hit uh, down at 169, you guys. I'm going to show you the chart. Look what it did the next day. This is crazy. It went 20 cents shy Okay, 20 cents shy of where those bizarre far away prints were. It's crazy, right? I mean, I think every time it happens, I still can't believe it, honestly. But it did hit it a couple days later. Check this out. It did go down and hit it, and then it climbed all the way up again. You guys want to see another one? I have a recent one that just 
happened this week. Actually, last week. And then we traded out of it this week. All right, but you can't tell anybody. We're going to keep this to ourselves, all right? Let me show you. Let me show you. Yeah, I love this one. Okay, so January 22nd, that was on Monday. All right, last Monday, here we go again. Um, here, January 22nd. Uh, we spotted, my traders actually spotted, Rusty Goose. He, he spotted it, actually. I didn't even see it. Thank you, Rusty. Is he here tonight? Not sure if he's here, but thank you, Rusty. He spotted it. Um, a million shares, you guys. You notice he capitalized it. You can tell he's excited in the, in the chat. Um, and then Gerald uh, wrote the price. Thank you, Gerald, for putting the price in there. And then Chris, of course, looks it up on Lightspeed. Thank you, Chris, because that means a lot. It means nobody else can see this print. Um, it's only on uh, Charles Schwab, by the way. That's the software that I'm using. I'm sure a lot of you probably have it. And here's the print. But please don't call them up and ask them about it because they have no idea. And they will start charging a lot of money if they do, okay? You can ask me, email me. I'll always, you know, help you out. But please don't call them and ask them, okay? So, and it's free as long as we keep this to ourselves. So there's the print. A million shares at $50. What the heck? Okay, so look at this. Rusty wrote that's well above the price and uh, Chris wrote yep that could be a super dark pull print Intel was trading right there at $45 and 36 cents do you know the last time Intel was trading at $50 September 25th 2000 that was 18 years ago and I don't think this print got stuck in 18 years of traffic do you so yeah, crazy stuff. Really, really crazy stuff. So, Chris wrote that could be a super dark pool print right there. And can someone look it up in Live Vol Pro, meaning me? Now, I was, again, I don't know why this always happens when I'm teaching boot camp. I was in my boot camp class last week, and so I didn't see the print, and I came into the trading room at uh, 11 o'clock during the break. It always happens, you guys after like 11. These big prints come in, so eat your lunch at your desk. So I said, hello everybody, and Raj immediately, hi there, Intel 1,050,000. And Chris, can you look it up for the print, please, on Live Vol Pro, pretty much begging me. And I looked, and my eyes just went out of my head, you guys. Wow, Intel, we get so excited. You know, these, print, these, these special dark pull prints don't happen every day. But every once in a while, we had a, a fairly recent one on the QQQs, if you've been following the Dark Pool app. Uh, we had an, uh, a Russell IWM as well not too long ago. Um, but it's not an everyday occurrence. So when it happens, we get really excited and we find really cheap option trades. We're not going to bet the house, but we're going to make a lot of money if it works out. And if it doesn't, we're only going to lose a little bit. So I checked the, the scanner right away. Okay, and nothing. These were the only big prints, the market on close orders for $45.75. And so I wrote that trade on Intel is not showing up on Live Vol, Vol Pro. And I bought Intel lottery tickets and Intel was coming out with earnings in a couple days. So I don't like to trade into earnings. The volatility, uh, the IV is really high. Um, the options are expensive. So I went to next month's the february monthly calls the 50 calls and i bought them for 14 cents you guys okay so the options were not expecting this move um you know a lot of people follow unusual unusual options activity and let me tell you um you don't want to do that you want to follow the underlying asset the stock and you want to catch the option chain off guard by buying these really cheap I call them lottery tickets. When you have big prints on the stock, okay? That's really, really key. By the time you see unusual options activity, they're already inflated and you're paying a lot of money. You wanna be first to the punch bowl. That's really key. So I posted up on the dark pool app. Here's a dark pool trade on Intel. Could be a dark pool secret signal, okay? So what did my traders do? 
the Kahuna bought 47 calls. Uh, well, actually, Lil, she's here tonight. She thought, maybe I should buy a couple of calls. Uh, Rusty bought the March uh, 55 calls for $0.08. Cents. And then Lil, finally, okay, I got those Intel calls for $0.18. Cents. <laughs> then Ricky bought Intel calls, 47 to swing. Now, earnings, earnings were coming out. They came out. And again, I don't care what the number is. We can have good earnings and stocks can go down. We can have bad earnings and stocks can go up. So I don't pay attention to what the earnings were. Instead, I pay attention to stocks that came out with earnings and I watch for the prints. I watch for the price action. Um, so we did. We, we got a gift from the trading gods on Intel. Okay, this dark pool secret trade. So here we are back in our trading room. And Lil, 748, she was excited. It's looking good. And Lazaro knew we were going to touch the 50 handle today. And, you know, my traders, are we all, again, work together. So while Paul, a.k.a. the alien, um, he was posting up the prints that were happening that day. Uh, Sniper, she was posting up open interest on Intel calls. Uh, people were sharing their trades, sharing where they may take profit. You know, and that's what the room is all about. And in my whisper, every morning I, I put out, I try to put it out every morning. Not always, but I do put out a weekly whisper now every week. I hope you guys are enjoying that. You guys like the weekly whisper? Every Sunday I tally up all the dark pool prints from the entire week. Okay, it's a lot of hours, but for me it's, it's really good. And I'm able to see where all the big levels are. So excellent. I'm glad I've been doing it for about three weeks now. And if you have the app or you're in my room, you get this first. Actually, nobody gets this, just you guys. Uh, honestly, I don't put it out anywhere else. Um, but the, the daily whisper I put out in the morning, I put out that morning after the earnings came out that we were bullish above 48.30. I looked on the ECN book. I, I spotted some sellers at 48.30. And as long, if you weren't in this trade already, plenty of time to get in. I was bullish above 48.30. That was really the key level. So uh, Rusty wrote, Intel's moving towards 50. Uh, Jazz Gia, she wrote that Intel has increased its dividend by 10%. I got out of half immediately. You can see at 9.33, as soon as the market opened, I always take half off the table. I don't try to be greedy. Again, I'm scaling out. I'm going to hold it to 50. But what if it opens up? and then drops. I always want to take it. And again, I paid 14 cents for it and I sold half of 41 cents. So that's a pretty good trade already. And it makes me feel emotionally uh, balanced when I do that. Lorraine uh, did the same. She sold some at 50 cents. Uh, so did Lil and Richard. You can see everybody was posting up their trades uh, and they did really well. Smitty uh, thanked Lorraine. He bought the calls at 17 cents and sold them for 53 cents. I got out of another quarter uh, 20 minutes after the market was open, selling another quarter for 60 cents. That was Intel was at 49 at that point. And my target was 50. And so I wrote the last target is 50. And uh, Andrew, uh, he did really well on his Intel lottery tickets. Kahuna made, did really well. Um, Alien took a 436%. He's from Sacramento, Paul. Uh, Wayne was peeling off Intel calls all day. Raj in my room made 471%. Um, and then I got out of my last Intel calls for 95 cents. It was close enough. It was about an eighth shy, and so did Lil. Awesome trading there, by the way. Uh, she asked me before the market opened what she should do. And told you you have to scale. Get out of half and then hold the last half at 50. So really good job. That's probably the hardest part about trading is, um, is holding on and letting that stock go to your target. And that's why scaling out is really one of the best remedies for exit-itis. I think we've all, I had exit-itis for years. So I can definitely help you out with that. Uh, Diane, 120% ROI. Again, Kahuna, Paul said Intel paid for Valentine's Day. Well, you know what, Paul? I think you should get your girlfriend one of those little blue boxes. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, for Valentine's Day. Get her a ring, Paul. Um, I know she wants it. So 
It was five cents shy, you guys. Intel went to pull back a little, and then it hit 50 at the end of the day. Wayne sold his calls. Um, Eric. Eric is new to my room, and I love the fact that he gave himself a nickname right away. A cool, heavy bull is his name. And he, he's a new trader, and he rocked it for a dollar nine. That was awesome, Eric. Um, now, Paul told his brother about the Intel trade. And his brother bought 10 contracts. And he wrote that he just called to thank me. <laughs> it's a, oh boy. Um, can you imagine if your brother goes by the name of the alien and calls you to tell you that there's this deepest, darkest pool secret signal trade, $5 away. Just trust me, bro. Just buy these calls. I They're going to go up. I mean, I, I laugh because I could just picture the scenario. It, it does sound crazy. I get it. Um, but if you're in my room, you've, you've seen this craziness a lot. So Bobby, he's here tonight. Um, Bob, Bob did well. He held his last intel. Did, are you still holding that last call, Bob? He left. Oh, he left? Oh, but Trump didn't begin yet. All right. I know he wasn't feeling well today. Yeah, so he held that last one. Raj did really well. He held 10. Look where intel went, you guys. There's the dark pool secret signal trade that we got on the 22nd and it went right to 50 crazy Yeah, well. 